the hadith of Abu Darda. A man came to Abu Darda while he was in Damascus. Abu Darda asked him, What has brought you here, my brother? He replied, A hadith which you relate from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Abu Darda asked, Have you come for some worldly need? He replied, No. Have you come for business? He replied, No. You have come only to seek this hadith? He said, Yes. Abu Darda then said, I heard the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, Whoever travels a path seeking sacred knowledge, Allah will place him on a path leading to paradise. The angels lower their wings for the student of sacred knowledge, pleased with what he is doing. The creatures in the heavens and earth seek forgiveness for the student of sacred knowledge, even the fish in the water. The superiority of the religious scholar over the devout worshipper is like the superiority of the full moon over the heavenly over the other heavenly bodies. The religious scholars are the heirs of the prophets. The prophets leave no money as a bequest, rather they leave knowledge. Whoever seizes it has taken a bountiful share. Imam Ahmad, Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah relate this hadith in their compilations.